This is the next video in the series on um, checking the back end of the PIA website. Uh, this next one is going to be on um, editing and updating and checking the entries on the, uh, the two forms on the website. So there's the application form here and there is the uh, get in touch slash contact form. So on the back end of the website uh, from the dashboard, um, like with the other items, you just come right down to the item. Uh, so in this case, we're going to come to forms and you'll see the two different forms on the website. Uh, if you um, want to uh, look at just the, the entries on the form, you can go straight over to the column here that says entries and you can click on the number there and you can see the, as soon as it comes up here, you can see the entries on the form. I just did a, uh, a test one. Why don't we trash this one? Uh, I just did a test entry here. So uh, this is a nice feature to have just because if the notifications stop for whatever reason, maybe your email isn't working, uh, maybe your email is rejecting the entries from the website, whatever it is, you can always come to the back end of the website and it's going to keep all of the entries uh, for, you know, forever essentially. Um, so you can come here and see that there's an entry on the website. You can click view on this and you can see all of the data that's been entered. Now, all of this should come through in an email to you. When you launch the site, you should test the forms. But like I said, in any instance, you can always come to the back end of the website and see everything that's been entered here. You can also see the attachments that they, they sent and you can download the attachments, all of the comments. Uh, you can see when it was and what date uh, it was sent in, uh, all of that good stuff. If you need to edit the form itself, um, then you just want to click here on the actual um, name of the form and it will show you the fields that are there. Uh, so, you know, if you need to add uh, another field, you can, if it's same as what's already here, you know, similar, you can just duplicate it. So if you did need to just add another field here and it needed to be the address or something, you could do that. You could duplicate it and rename it. Um, or you could um, over on the right hand side, there are a bunch of pre formatted items. So you could use this uh, more complex address field like this uh, that brings in a street address, spaces, city, zip, all of that good stuff. Um, one thing to know is that if you're going to be deleting any fields, uh, it will delete that data from previous entries on the form. So that's what this warning is. Obviously this hasn't been up and it hasn't been accepting anything, but if at some point you decide to delete some entries here, just know that then also on the entries pages, that data will also disappear. So um, yeah, something to keep in mind. If you're going to have less fields, what you might want to do is create a new form and put that on the page instead. Um, notifications uh, are controlled right here. Admin notification, come in here, you can um, put in multiple email addresses if it needs to be going to multiple people uh, and that's who it will send to each time. Uh, we'll fill this out so that um, when you hit reply on one of the notifications, it will send back to the person that sent that put uh, their email address in the form. Um, really, I, I think that's it. You can, you can edit the fields on these. Uh, you can make new forms and place them on the site. You can look at the entries on the site, uh, all of that good stuff. I think that's going to cover it for forms. Thanks.